Where did he come from, though? What, what's his backstory? Education is what can lift all of us up. It can take anyone from any circumstance and make possible for them almost any kind of future you can imagine. If you look at all the things that are going on in, in the world today, whether it's global warming, whether it's the economy, we won't be able to answer all those questions until we have a really well-educated populace. What we're trying to do is to attract populations that normally wouldn't have had an opportunity to Penn State and trying to make sure that those populations are successful here. We now have the same levels of K through 12 segregation that we had in 1968. And generally not very good academic environments. Those students don't come out uh, with the same opportunities that you might see in a suburban or an upper middle class school district that had much more resources. The focus of our program is to serve first-generation and low-income students. I want to major in music education. Anything that has to do with music, I'm there. <laughs> we focus more on their academic curriculum, making sure that they're taking classes that are preparing them for college. Talent Search is the program that will really try to show you that no matter where you come from, as long as you have your education, you can be anything you want to be. Helping them go to college offers them the chance to reach their goals, to make new dreams for themselves, and to rise above some of the problems that they've had as young adults. For me to be able to say, I'm a freshman in college, is like a huge accomplishment for me, and I'm proud of myself. My parents really didn't get very involved in their education after high school. I hadn't really thought about going to college at all. I thought after high school I was just going to be done. The most important thing that, that I see with Upward Bound is it gives the students uh, the resources and the belief that they can not only attend college but actually finish and graduate from college. With Kyle, uh, you know, he's somebody who is very normally very quiet. It helps bring him out of his shell. One of my goals was to actually get out and reach people more and stand out more in class. After Upward Bound, I was all up for college. There was no way I wasn't going to go. Upward Bound's given me the ability to push myself farther, change my life, be what I want to be. I'm definitely more confident. I grew up in the Dominican Republic. When I was nine years old, I came to the United States to a small town called Hazelton. CAMP stands for College Assistant Migrant Program. They're my major support here in Penn State, not only academically, but also as a social support. Last summer, when the issue about how illegal immigrants are hindering the economy of Hazleton, I took it very personally, so I wrote a letter to the mayor of Hazleton. I've gained new friends, the courage to write the letter. <laughs> Camp has been wonderful. I was born in Germantown. During middle school, my mother suffered from breast cancer and she was recovering and trying to raise me you know, and my older sister, and then take care of my grandmother, as well as try to get herself back physically. There were a lot of doubts. The Comprehensive Studies program basically vouched for me. They believed in me. It's just a wonderful program for students like me who have the tools to make it. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm a strong ambassador and representative for them. I'm originally from Harrisburg. Coming from an inner city school, it's very easy to come here and feel overwhelmed. Upper bound math and science let students see their own potential. It's one thing for someone else to see it, but until you see it, then it's, you know, it's a dream deferred. 
you don't know it exists. Educational equity helps students remember the focus, remember the dream. Ryan Courtney Patterson. And so being that graduate of Penn State, it's like, wow. My college education just means opportunity. Open doors. <laughs> A lot of times when I talk with students, uh, the, the question for them is, how do I stay here? There's simply not enough money. And the bottom line is, there is not enough money. And the support that we're seeing from the government just does not offset those costs. I think we're where uh, Penn State and educational equity come into play is the little things, the issues that makes the difference between a student staying and getting through these challenges and perhaps becoming dispirited and dropping out. I'm particularly uh, driven to donate money to students who come from lesser financial backgrounds. There are many impediments frequently in their way, and financial tends to be one of the major ones. It's not giving to Penn State. It's actually giving to students who, who don't have normal opportunities. And to see that they succeed in their, in their hopes and dreams, beyond their hopes and dreams, really is tremendous. I am the first generation in my family who went to college and who graduated. After many people have told you in your face, English is your second language, you're from Mexico, you're going to Penn State, you cannot succeed. Just by looking at my diploma, I know that I can do anything I want to do as long as I put my mind and my heart to it. I was born with a condition called spina bifida. It never occurred to me that my wheelchair would stop me, so like I never understood why other people thought that it might. I was just focused on my goal. There's all sorts of reasons why somebody could look at my profile and say she's not likely to succeed because, you know, I'm African American or because I'm a woman or because I'm disabled. Penn State and the equity programs, they looked beyond that and they saw my potential. I can succeed clearly, so um, so it means a lot to me. I'm a Sudanese. Because of that conflict between the North and the South, I left the country in 1987. And I've been in the U.S. right now for about almost eight years. You know, when I talk to some of my friends, and they know what I went through, they say, David, you have done a lot. But myself, I felt like I haven't done enough. I have a bachelor degree. Is that the only thing I have to have and sit on it? I think no. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now convened. When people graduate from Penn State, they're going to go into a very diverse world, and they have to be prepared to cope with it, to thrive in it. When you bring more voices together into a classroom, more voices together on a campus, it really allows better thought, more provocative thought, and really allows the dialogue that education's all about to happen. And to do that means opening the doors for populations of people who don't normally have a way to get here. Educational equity does that. I'm a testimony to what is possible if somebody just gives students the opportunity to succeed, even though like on paper they may not look like much. But when they're given the opportunity, they have a lot of potential. I feel that if I'm given the opportunity, I'll be able to compete with anyone you know, as long as I have that opportunity. I think the world needs people that have an education, that can be leaders, that can move the world forward in the way that it needs to be moved. I'm just very impressed with, with the students, with the quality of their mindset, their academic achievement, the way they handle themselves as individuals. I think 10 years from now when I'm successful, to me, the greatest thank you is actually doing something with the money and the education that you received. Educational equity is an investment in someone's future. It's not just, you know, I'm gonna donate this money and it's gonna go to waste. But you're investing in someone's future and their career goals and basically the rest of their life.